Kentucky Fried Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be decorating my table for Christmas in July. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. If you are new to my channel, I share cleaning and declutter motivation as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that little red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. This is a challenge that is being hosted by two ladies here on YouTube. The first one is Lori from Creative Lori, and then the second one is Pam from Creative Homescaping. I'll be sure to leave a link to both of their channels up in the cards and down in the description box so that when you're finished watching my video, you can go ahead and check both of these ladies out. They do host this challenge. Uh, fairly regularly. I have participated in some before. I'll be sure to leave those linked up top and down below as well if you'd like to check those out. A, along with a playlist of all the other ladies in their Tablescape challenges for Tablescape Tuesday. I'll be sure to leave a link to that up in the cards and down in the description box so that you can get some more inspiration on how to set your table. Before I started setting up my table for Christmas in July, I wanted to go ahead and wash this trivet that I found the other day, and I actually did share this on my last Thriftmas haul. I'll leave that linked up in the card so that you can go and see where I found this trivet and how much I paid for it. Once I had washed the trivet, I just began by clearing the table. We had had a friend over the night before and had just been playing a game. And to clean, I'm just going to be using my Method Wood Cleaner in the almond scent. And I'm going to be cleaning not just the table, but also the chairs. I like to go ahead and take this time just to go ahead and give a good clean of all of it. We did recently find this table and actually six chairs. And then there is also a leaf. I think I showed this in my last cleaning video and we found this all on Facebook Marketplace for just $125. So if you happen to notice a little brown dog, you may not recognize her, but we are actually just watching her for our friends for right now. Her name is Libby and her and Chewie get along great. the chairs and table I just began by setting down these placemats. I was just going to use the same ones that I had used in my red, white, and boom tablescape. I'll leave that linked up in the cards. Next 
I set this little basket and inside of it I just set our napkin holder with some napkins and I'm just going to use the same salt and pepper shaker that I used in my last tablescape and in the middle I'm just putting our toothpick holder and then here I will be setting this little greenery winter plant as well as this pot holder I found this set the other day at Goodwill and all of the decor that I'm showing on here besides the placemat I did recently share in my thriftmas haul that I'll leave linked up here if you would like to go in and check that out. my tablescape Tuesday if you enjoyed my video please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and if you like what you saw today be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you don't miss out on any more videos that I have coming up I do have some more Christmas in July videos coming up I have a DIY that I want to do that I plan to add to this tablescape as well as a small Christmas home tour Thank you again to Pam and Lori for hosting this challenge. I look forward to doing more of your Tablescape Tuesday challenges. I hope the rest of you have a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye! This is a challenge that is be hosted...